Commitment 2022, now every election season, we want you to know and get to know each candidate's positions on the most pressing issues. This morning, we're hearing from the candidates in the gubernatorial race. We asked, what can be done immediately to bring down energy prices in New Hampshire in the short and long term? The first thing we should be focusing on is making sure people make it through the winter and stay warm. That's why I voted for the package that we came through the Senate in the uh, veto day session. That would not have been necessary had Chris Sununu acted appropriately along the way and actually supported energy and um, creating alternative energy options three years ago and even subsequently. But since we are in this position, the first thing is doing, doing that package to make sure people are warm. Second is efficiency. If we acted quickly, we can actually get some of those measures in place. And then we expand our energy options by lifting the caps on net metering, solar, wind, hydro, and then we expedite offshore wind. So a couple things. Number one is uh, don't sign any more bills that uh, increase prices, right? So which is why I veto so many pieces of bad energy legislation. Uh, you now have to have the right renewable balance, of course, and we're, we're supporting solar, we're supporting offshore wind, good clean hydro is wonderful, but we, but virtually all of that requires some sort of subsidy. And if they're not designed right, you, you got to veto them. So at the end of the day, making sure you get more natural gas in to create a, a more reliable system and making sure that you're not increasing additional subsidies on, again, lower fixed income families uh, is, is really critical.